Good morning. Good morning. This week, is, it may be just you and I, but um, next week, we, I'm hoping that we can get more people in here because um, we're going to be doing a library orientation. And it, oh, some yeah. people some people need it. Some people don't need it. I, I got emails from people this week that told me that they needed it. Basically, just the music library or the the, the cool. music and visual art librarian, Ms. Nurhawk. It'll be virtual, of course, you know, but um, the idea would be just to get people assured of, of two things. One, what a, a, a peer reviewed source is, boy, oh boy. And also, uh, what is a good, um, what's a good research question, you know, what, we got to refine that. <laughs> I think I just, yeah, I just, did I disappear or did you just, I think. It froze think, up on my end, yeah. Okay. I mean, like you froze up from, from my end. All right. And the main thing, that we're not going to cover content today, but the main thing I want to do is set up um, the abstract exercise. Let's see if this is still recording. Yeah, it's recording. So I, I have a question and I will probably get maybe one or two other people, but we'll catch them up when they get in here. I know that you've written papers before, right? Mm -hmm. Lots of them probably. Um, essays, maybe reports, maybe research papers. My question is, how, how do you judge whether or not stuff you find is worth even using yeah just well like you were saying if it has an abstract if it's a paper you read that or kind of just skimming i usually just skim through to see if it's worthwhile if it's right something online or if they well a good one will have an abstract mm -hmm. so have you written ever written an abstract um i don't i don't know that i have i can't remember well, if you ever get to the point where you're writing a, a master's thesis, you have the you know first couple of pages, maybe mm -hmm. the first page is supposed to be an abstract of what this thing is about. Right. Um, we're going to be doing a, an abstract exercise along with the library orientation. Um, we will have a, an exercise that people will be able to fulfill on discussion board. Uh, but I am also hoping to have a live discussion. Okay. Okay. Uh, and all right, so let's get into the exercise here. I'm going to go share my screen. And let's get into the content here. You know, we're, uh, by the way, as far as the syllabus goes, vaguely, we're not doing too bad considering what we're trying to do this semester. We're about one week behind on, on deadlines which is not a, that's not even a problem. I post the stuff in, in the, um, on Blackboard and it's due when it's due. It's, I, I set this up at the beginning of the semester, optimistically thinking, you know, by now, uh, we would have, everybody would have had their research proposal in. Um, I'm going to have to have some kind of, uh, reality check with people because some, uh, only three or four people have posted what their, what their paper is even about. I think mm -hmm. they need to have a discussion. Um, that was back in February. Outline and peer reviewed sources was at the beginning of March. I, we haven't done that yet. Okay. This is actually what we're doing. We're getting ready for that now. Okay. Mm -hmm. To develop an outline of what your paper is going to be about and, um, and, and a list of peer reviewed re resources that are, that will work for you. Uh, yeah, we're, we, well, we weren't too far, we're not too far behind on content. We're gonna get behind this week because we're not gonna be covering um, Saul Bass, uh, Milton Glaser, uh, George Lewis and, and April Greenman. We're not gonna be doing those guys yet. We'll do them next week. Uh, not next week, we'll do them actually the week after. So that's really gonna kick it back, not a problem. Uh, this, all of this stuff will probably kick the research paper first draft back as well. And I'm putting this at the head of the, uh, I'm putting this at the head of the, uh, discussion today to anybody that does tune in for the eight minutes that they usually hang out for eight minutes. That's usually how long people hang out. 
<laughs> you know, and watch this. And I understand. Um, they'll get this. They'll get this memo that this stuff is on the horizon that they uh, they have to get ready for. All right. Uh, so back up to the modules now. This week's module. which I did, which I switched around last night. All right, week five, workshop, writing the research paper. And in and, in and around getting ready to write the research paper is first of all, determining what's what you're interested in. So Jesse, you're, you're, you're the example today because you're in here. What are you interested in? <laughs> I'm, don't mean to put you on the spot, huh? Um, as far I as the paper. Yeah, I'm kind of looking at minimal discussion board, but it's like I think I still need to help kind of refining what my question's going to be. Oh, yeah, let's go back out there. That's in the discussion board, right? You had something in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you did the class Oldenburg. It's funny, mm -hmm. his um, his essay is very gritty and then his art is very easy on the eye. A lot of it. I is. know, <laughs> I did notice that. Yeah, okay. Oh, that was, so a, that was actually, actually a big deal. Out there, so wait, wait, is your view that minimalism should be the end goal of every designer? That's kind of what I was looking at, you know. That's what do you yeah, mean that's by that? Kind of what so, I'm thinking with the, with the discussion. Wait, wait, wait. That's what that's what specifically you... thinking. Like specifically for graphic designers, you know, in a lot of our oh. courses and classes, we're taught, you know, to really streamline it, really break it down to its simple elements, and um, I'm just kind of interested in looking at that. And I, I've saved a few bookmarked a few resources I found online but I still need to go to the uh, library and get some um, just to see if I can find a little bit more to help me I'm still kind of refining the question part of it I guess this is great so actually this minimalism that we're talking about and and you know like the the paring down of detail that happened in modernism really does segue nicely from the fine art world at the time into the design world they really relate nicely, even though they may seem very, very odd and different to each other uh, in some respects. Um, but then the, all of us people over here that want to paint and draw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking more specifically for graphic design. Oh, you no, know, no, it that. really does suit. I think it does suit graphic design, yeah. at least in the in, in the modern sense, mm -hmm. right? And particularly logo design, you see it a lot. Like it's... Particularly, that's corporate stuff, right? Right. So, so uh, even though we live in the postmodern world where we get, you know, wild variations on this now and graphic right. designers who do wild variations on what we're talking about. I got another customer. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, even though all of that is happening um, in design, this um, reduction to the essential is really good design still. Mm -hmm. Okay. So good for us. We found we found the connection, art and design. What do they? How do they relate in in this in this wild weird world that we're in? Okay, now um, in oh so in here, do you mention oh your research paper? Good morning. Um, your your research paper topic that we're um, discussing, we're gonna hope oh is minimalism and graphic design. So was this inspired partly by Klaus Oldenburg mm -hmm. as well? Um, no, I don't, not so much. No, just, um, kind of the stuff we looked at with, uh, you know, the cubism and then just, just stuff that I'm experiencing in my own courses and working through logo designs. And, um, it's just an interesting process to me. We're doing one in, uh, intro to media arts right now where we're taking an object and we had to draw realistic in illustrator and then draw an abstract form. And now we're doing an icon form with it. And, had I known we were going all there that way, I would have probably picked a different object, but I'm trying to work through that. And it's just, it's just interesting. I am interested. What object did you pick? Um, I had just a glass vase that I have in my house. 
Mm. Well, it's a worthy. That's worthy. Okay. Um. Uh, hey. So, we. By the way, we have we have a, a, a chapter coming up that deals with minimalism. Okay. Now, this is minimalism in art. It's not this. It's not quite the same as it is design. But boy, there is some kind of connection there. There's an overlap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Janae, you're in here. How you doing? She's working, you know, she's at work. So oh, okay. she's, she's here. Let's, we'll, we'll see what we get. Um, all right. So this is, this is a good start. Okay. So, uh, you like, again, you're our guinea pig. All right. Um, <laughs> have you, have you gathered any resources about this yet? Yeah, I've bookmarked a few things I found online, including a couple of research papers. Um, and like I said, I'm, I plan on getting into the library. Um, I've looked on our online library Good. Um, site, and I think there's a couple of things. And you have those with there. you now? Um, I have not gone to pick up stuff from the library yet. Oh, oh, you mean these are these are physical texts that you're going to be? There's a couple up. from the library at school that I'm planning to get, but I do have bookmarks in my um, like on my web. Okay, the coolness. Are you? Uh, have you done anything with journal articles yet? I don't know if they were journals. I saw a couple research papers, and then there was some. Um, there was a couple of sites that were um, I was trying to make sure they were, you know, legitimate, either academic. Mm -hmm. But you found them. Like did you find them in the library? Or did you find them somewhere else? These were just found through searching online. Yeah. Um, so what we kind of want to do is like you said, verify that this is some kind of peer reviewed source. Um, the one reason I want people to do stuff in the library is that it's a lot safer to say that you found something that's peer reviewed right. um, in in the lib in the library because it has to go through that filter right. of, of getting collected by the library. Um, yeah. Outside people act like all kinds of things. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, I try yeah. to make sure that if I'm pulling something online that it's you know, either a a dot edu or a dot org or something that's got a little bit more credibility than well see i can get a dot org tonight well yeah i guess so. <laughs> i can't get a i can't get an edu though okay i cannot yeah. get an edu so there is something to that and the edu might still we've got to be very careful the edu might be someone's very 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 good paper okay mm -hmm. but by an undergrad for instance or a person in the ma in a master's program or a person who's do who's working on their PhD but doesn't have it yet. Mm -hmm. So the the intent and I I'm not putting down your your sources. You may have great sources. I don't know who, who they are or what they are yet. But um is is the idea of peered peer to peer. So um, if it's someone's speaking as a researcher, um, depending on the field, the terminal degree is PhD. But it's not just that; it's that it's gone through the um, through the rigor of being reviewed by like four or five people who have the same degrees and mm -hmm. same background and same expertise and have also been published. Typically, they those people have been. I don't know how they started it. Somebody had to be published first, right? If you've been published, then you're mm -hmm. invited to be a peer reviewer, and then you. But how do you get there anyway? Um, so we'll do a little bit of this um, kind of thinking and working today to set up the abstracting exercise. All right. But by the way, abstract exercise, we were not talking about making abstract paintings or designs. That's interesting, right? <laughs> oh, well, you know, what's the idea of an abstract painting or a design is to draw what to draw out the essence of something, right? Mm -hmm. To abstract mm -hmm. it. And so what we want to do when we write an abstract of an article is to draw out the essence of it and get the, what's meaningful out of it, okay? Mm -hmm. So it relates probably to other people, but it also specifically ought to relate to you. What's your specific interest? So for instance, if you find a good article, one way that we would say that it's a good article is possibly that it would, you would have a section in there that says this relates to my interest because of this, this, and this. All right, so let's go into this. Um, We've got, um, here, here's our, here are our learning um, module, uh, learning outcomes Co with the library uh, orientation next week. Hey, Janae, we will be getting um, acquainted with how to use library resources. Uh, also, we will learn how to judge research, research resources quality, research resources quality, and then how to refine a thesis or research question, okay? So you know your your interest is in is in minimalism, in design, 
And you want to develop a question. What's the questions you want to know? You know, what do you want to know? Or, or a statement that you want to prove. Maybe yeah, you're ready. I guess that was, you know, just the, it's, I guess that that's the best way to design is to go for the minimalist idea or breaking That's it your down thesis. To... That's your statement, your thesis, right? I think so. That's kind of what i Do you think you right could, now. do you think in your paper writing, and this is, by the way, coaching other people too, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Do you think in your paper writing that you could do something that would prove or, or, or at least um, gather more evidence for your warrant? This is what, by the way, this is the language they use, gathering evidence for your warrant. Do you have a warrant for what you're saying to do and to continue research? Mm -hmm. How could you do that? Um, I think, well, I was thinking of like um, last year, we looked at some examples of uh, logos that have been um, redesigned over the years. So you look at a company that's been around since like say the 1800s and what their original logo looked like and the different ways it's changed, you know, since then to now. Um, if they're a company that's been around a while and you can really see the evidence of that streamlining and the simplifying and how it makes it cleaner and better. Wow, you know, I, the, the two that come to mind are the two that have remained exactly the same. <laughs> we looked at several examples. It was uh, class. GE style. has remained exactly the same. Yes. As it yeah, was in 1895. Coca-Cola uh, in the early 1900s is exactly the same. Yeah. At, maybe they haven't, maybe some of the companies haven't been around that long, but I remember now, Pepsi at, has changed over the years. Pepsi that. has changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. You know, um, you might consider developing a survey. Okay. I don't, and I don't know, you got to get gather either existing or create things. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Although, although you're, you're, you're not a, if you create complicated logos and then simplified logos you have a dog in the hunt and you could be creating a brand x design yeah. right like in other words it would make a crappy design <laughs> and get people to say yeah no i like the other one better <laughs> boy boy that's that's there's a lot of tainting of research when people are involved in their own samples <laughs> uh i could i have a document here and i sent out a, uh, an email through e4u to everybody yesterday uh connecting them to the writing lab because someone was nice enough to ask me how do you how do you even get to the writing lab they had sent out a brochure i think a month ago and i think it got sent and of course it got buried in the email all right so here is assignment number six we get right into it it says my internet is unstable <laughs> is everything okay over there i uh, still can hear you now okay good I've got some examples here. Uh, the story behind these is that when I learned communication research in my master's program, I had this brilliant um, Dr. Paul Hunsinger uh, taught us communication research, but essentially what he really taught us was research. You know, the kind of research, there are different levels of research. Like when you go out and do your, if you do a statistical survey, you are actually branching out into an, a field that where you're doing empirical research. You're giving a sample and getting, uh, um, taking a sample from the population, and therefore you're getting direct evidence for your for your um, ideas. You have to be um, you have to be willing to look at the data, and uh, and not preclude your conclusions, not 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 try to load how you interpret it to fit your conclusions that you already had, because you may come up with something you didn't intend. Okay. All right, um, I, th I think I've used this example before, but it's a really good example. I did my research on why people believe in UFOs. Is it related to watching science fiction films that have deal with UFOs? And I found that there was not the strongest correlation between people's taste in movies as much as there was a, a correlation in um, their motive for going to the movies. I wasn't looking for that. That was just a throwaway question at the end. What is your motive for going to the movies? Was it a date night? Was it, uh, you know, to get away from the kids? Was it um, escape? And, and, and people, I found there was this direct, air, almost airtight correlation. Belief in UFOs was predicted by people who go to the movies to escape. I wasn't looking for that. That's, tr that's true 
research where now then there's there's the other research where you're doing review of the literature and that's what you're you're probably intending to do with some of this is review what other people have have said about this and then your paper writing would be okay you know jones smith and 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 um roxy said this this and this and then you compare and contrast these different ideas and you add what you think based on what you've read so far and your experience and you provide samples that's a research paper you you are taking information in but you are adding to the pile you're adding something to the conversation when you write a research paper and often the most interesting or best part of a research paper or an article research journal article is suggestions for further research you know what would be interesting to, to the, what's the next step all right uh so let's get a look at what we, we here's our our steps you're going to use temp, the template i've got a template up here to create your own abstract it's otherwise known as a synopsis of an article that relates to your research interests um also the nice thing about this is that if you find good stuff you know good sources you find a good article and you abstract it mm -hmm. there is going to be information here uh that you will be able to use in your paper so don't don't just search on anything you know don't if you're interested in minimalism and graphic design uh don't search on, on the hindenburg disaster okay you can find cool stuff about that like why did that happen but mm -hmm. that's not going to relate to your paper um all right so use the templates step one find a peer-reviewed article that's going to be fun right that right there that relates to your interests okay um step two read over the template and and the examples that are provided here step three write an abstract one page of the article you have chosen here come, this is when it gets interesting step four post this abstract in the discussion board forum step five read three other abstracts and rank them according to the quality of the research number one being the best and number three being the worst post these results your 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 take on it in the blackboard discussion forum in the same thread so you're posting yours and then you're reading others and you're posting your reaction to the others Any questions? Have to rank each other's. Yes. Checks. Yes. So, so for this to work at all, everybody's got to do it this week. <laughs> this is I can't. We're gonna have. I'm gonna have a come to Jesus meeting with a lot oh, of people <laughs> who have uh, who have been. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know online courses, man. Mm -mm -mm. Some people do well and some people don't do well. Um, the biggest predictor that you're ever gonna do well in a class is that you actually show up, right? And then we design something, right. a nightmare, the online course, you, you don't show up. You don't have to. Oh, oh, psychologically speaking, things I don't have to do right now. Where do they go? Where do they go? There's a garden, there's a garden shed that's out, that's the framework for it is out there in the yard. It's been there for months now. <laughs> That's, it'll probably be there in, a, in another month, although it's getting warmer, I'm, I'm probably going to be back out there doing something. Um, my, my wife hung the swing for the babies yesterday, and that, that was my job. So now you know. <laughs> All right, I'm going to open this up. This is going to be quaint. Where do you see this? Ah, this is a JPEG. <laughs> this is actually... Um, uh, scanned out of the book uh, that Paul Hunsinger wrote that we used for learning research. That's a really self-serving thing. You come, you teach a course and you develop the text and the text gets sold to all the students. <laughs> That's, I need to do that. I need to. <laughs> it's your golden ticket right there. <laughs> That's it. Um, all right. So this is a sample outline. This is a sample um, research report abstract so uh the, the heading you've got to get all of the information that reveals here let me zoom in on this you got to get all this information uh in order right 
the author, the title of the article, the journal that it was in, the, it, it'll, if it's real, it'll have all this stuff, although someone could fake it, but if it's in the library, it's probably real. Um, the, the number of publishing, the date and the pages that it came from. Okay. How many pages? Uh, oh, it says follow Kate Turabian. You don't have to follow Turabian. You can use MLA uh, or APA if you, if you need to. Look at me. I'm, a, I'm all Chicago. <laughs> I am all Chicago. I like the footnotes. I, I, I use Chicago's them. Chicago the one I haven't done yet. Don't, don't worry. You don't have to do Chicago. Okay. Uh, but follow the form for MLA so, do, so that we get all of this information, though. That's the point, right? Mm -hmm. the, the, um, where it was printed, you know, and, um, and uh, the date of printing, okay? Then step, step one, you define the purpose of the article. This article was written to explore the area of minimalism and graphic design, specifically um, the work of, uh, here, I'll, I'll pick somebody, of Herb Lubelin. Have you ever heard of Herb Lubelin? Mm -hmm. You have, good. Yes. Okay. I bet you've heard of all these guys, haven't you? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Saul, Saul Bass, George Lois. Yeah. George Lois? Mm, no, I don't know that one. He's like CBS. He was the guy, you know, for CBS. Okay. Um, anyway, there, there are a lot of these people that we would be looking at, right? Mm -hmm. um, you could be, who knows, you could be going back to the to the Bauhaus. You, I don't know if that's where you're at or not. You know, maybe, maybe later, maybe, well, of course, Paul Rand, you know, everybody, everybody talks about that. Yeah. Um, so this, this, this is a, for instance, um, in under the purpose, uh, you know, you would talk about what they tried to explore here, what they tried to show you in, in the, in the article, to the best of your knowledge, right? Okay. Then this is this is by the way this is a good way of breaking down what you're trying to do when you're writing your paper. What procedures did they use? Okay, let's say let's use the example. Uh, we're in minimalism, right? So um, uh, in design, um, do you want to pick a, a particular um, graphic designer, for instance, or or a period? That's for you, Jesse. Um, I was looking at Saul, Saul Bass, a lot of his stuff. Okay, good. Um, procedures or methodologies. Um, uh, 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 how about a critical and aesthetic analysis of the work of Saul Bass uh, in um, comparing his print media work to his film work? Yeah. By the way, I'm giving you gold here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you, I'm just giving it to you. You know why? Because you, you're here. <laughs> advantage of being the only one in the class. <laughs> you know what? You're the, you're the guy. I mean, you're the gal. Uh, <laughs> And uh, description. So then, you know, they, they this this article um, traced the work uh, from the late 1950s, beginning with uh, the man with the golden arm. You know, <laughs> okay, something along those lines. Okay, and um, their analysis, da 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 da. They found this. All right, wait, wait. I'm I'm jumping ahead. Results. They found there was a direct correlation between blank, blankety blankety blank blank blank. Okay. You're interpret. This is you interpreting what they found. Then the next cool part. This is very cool. Relation of the, this research to your interests. Okay, so everybody that does this exercise needs to fill out each part, each of these parts, related to their article. And then evaluation of the research report as a whole. This this article was pretty good, um, but. But I felt like it was more like fan art. <laughs> I mean, like a fan response, you know, that they were just pouring adulate. I'm, by the way, I'm making that up entirely. You see that, in other words, that's a, this was very good. It could be better, or this was, this was um, very good research and it, and it um, related to my needs and um, was very well documented or something like that and adds a new thing. Okay. So look at this typed on one page. That's really important. Get it to fit on one page. This is a true, by the way, an abstract. Yeah, you know the art and the literature, the literary thing here. Less is more; they're the same here. If you can say it and explain it well, and make it fit on one page, you're doing it exactly right. What you know when people you are skimming paragraph form, right? In the not, form that you see right here like in this outline form. Oh, you want it? 
in this form. Okay. This is a template. Okay. Use this. So all this stuff up above here would not be part of it. The, this would be the beginning right here where it says source. That would be at the top of the page. And then everything else down here follows. Okay. Okay. I'm glad you asked that question. So if we all follow the form. I'm just thinking because the abstract I was looking at were paragraph forms so it was or in paragraph style. Well, so they end sure. up, you know, you may end up having a, a part of this um, interpretation of results. That's going to be a paragraph, don't you think? Sure. Well, I meant, yeah, the abstracts I was looking at were just one, you know, page in kind of one oh. big yeah of text you know it wasn't bullet wait 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 like wait disclaimer disclaimer this is an abstract in preparation for you writing a research paper not not an abstract that that may be out there that is um, yeah. going to going to show you what this article is about when you go up on um, um okay. gotcha. in the library resources all right uh so here here let's see let's uh, let's go see what this looks like okay uh, one of these abstracts. Here's a sample abstract. Now these examples, you know, I have to zoom in. These examples are um, probably, let me think, look, I haven't, oh yeah, this is definitely, uh, I wasn't, by the way, I was not in school in 1983, <laughs> but it pulled an article uh, about film. This was about film uh, from 1983 in, in the journal. Um, it was a film review, Chariots of Fire, Cineast, Volume uh, 12, Winter 1983, pages 40 through 41. So look, this is an example. You don't have, then therefore you don't have to worry about APA, MLA, or Turabian, Chicago, whatever. You don't have to worry about that. If you just, if you just write your abstract exactly this way, okay? All right. Um, and then look at this here, the purpose, to discuss the strengths and weaknesses of Chariots of Fire. That's a review. <laughs> types of research, rhetorical analysis. They were interested in the effect of the speech. Ah, now that's, by the way, that's different than yours might be more about the uh, aesthetic, might be rhetorical. Okay, so rhetorical research, you might, and by the way, I've got a document, I know, well, remind me please to flip out to it when we, um, when we get done with this. I've got a document about some of the types of research that you guys will be coming across, okay? Um, description. The author makes critical analyses uh, by comparing the theme and style of Chariots of Fire to British film tradition. Hmm. Boy, British film tradition has changed since then. Um, anyway, results. And here's the results. He's, the author states, da, da 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 So he goes through an analysis, and you guys can read this one on your own, right? And by the way, have you seen that film? Chariots of Fire? Uh, no, I haven't. It's very... Um, it's actually a cool movie. Um, um, everybody from that era, though, ha heard the uh, the Vangelis um, soundtrack. Do 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 do. Never mind. I'm, I, me humming a tune isn't going to work. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So then, interpretation. The author explains the strengths of Chariots in, in terms of how it fits well into the British theatrical tradition explains the film's weakness in terms of how it doesn't fit into American or more accurately Hollywood film traditions. Hmm. And this person's personal interest was they had a desire to make films relating to sports, okay? The article only touched on generalizations of the film's content, genre, style, and British influence. Now, that's interesting. So this is a peer reviewed, quote unquote, peer reviewed, right? Quote unquote, peer reviewed. It's in, a, it's in an academic journal, cineast, so it's not, this is not like um, Time Magazine, right? Not Time Magazine. But the quality of this research is gonna be superficial. A film review is usually one or two pages. Let me see how many pages it was. Watch them, yeah, 40 to 41, one page, basically. That's not very deep, is it? Okay, so yeah. let's go back out and look at one of the other abstracts now. Example. All right, Ayers, Joseph, strategies to maintain relationships, communication quarterly. You ready? So this is a little bit meatier, volume 31, number one winner. You can see everybody was in a hurry. <laughs> You're right, one page, four pages. 
right? Um, oh, look, this is a different template. Uh-oh. So you can use, I like the first one better, I think. But anyway, look, let's look at this statement of the research problem. Study was conducted for two reasons. The first was to identify communication strategies, you know, blah, 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 blah. The, that's the purpose. Um, rationale for the study is very different. Mm. Man, I like that other one better. You know, because it gets right down to it. What's the purpose? What was the method? Da, 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 da. Uh, and this is a little more involved. Relationships are considered stable when a certain level of intimacy is achieved and maintained. You know, ba, da, da, da. this is stuff, right? They, they, in other words, it's not something where you, you're reviewing a film in one page and just talking about how good it is or how well it fits the British tradition. Um, methodology, an instrument designed to recognize relationship stability was administered. Wow. Wait a minute. That instrument, that's, that's, that's a survey. Mm. Okay. To uh, 184 female and 175 male undergraduate communication students. Avoidance, balance, directness. Okay. So they were trying to measure people's feelings or reactions about things through carefully designed questions. Uh, same subjects were then placed into 24 groups. And sub you, you get the idea. They were, they, oh, they were given scenarios and they were asked to respond to it. Yeah. So they did detailed analysis in this article, you know, in, in the research that they um, endeavored. Um, the results show that the sex and relationship style type variables have no statistically significant differences. So there is, they're making a claim here. Okay. While highly significant differences were observed on the relationship intent, the intent behind the relationship. Okay. So um, in other words, I've got a window popping up for reasons. Oh, hold on a second. Okay. Why do I need that now? Uh, anyway, ah, stop. <laughs> okay. Someone's knocking on my door. They can't do that. I, I'm so sorry. I gotta go. I'll be right back. Okay. You can read this while I'm gone, okay? Okay, 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 but you guys gotta be quiet, okay? Because I'm almost done with my stuff here. All right. Uh, so the tail end of this, they have one, one, two sentences. Further investigation is required for confirmation more detailed study of the nature of stability tactics is also call, called for. And I'm sure, you know, that's, that's an element that's in, in the paper. <laughs> okay. And now we, <laughs> I'm trying to think we next week, we are going to be having the library orientation and be getting resources. I wondered if we wanted to try to go up quickly on um, on the site and look for something, okay? In the journals, right? And and I don't know, Jesse, if you've got journal articles that you found in the the, the journal articles that you did find, did you find them in the library? Uh, I have one that I found online, and like I said, I found some books that look like they might be um, promising on the right. library site. The, from the library, but, but no journal articles from the library as of yet. I'm not sure. I think I know there was a couple textbooks, one in particular. Yeah, textbooks, textbooks. Let's go see if we can find something about journal articles. Okay. okay. 
All right. Um, I think I just looked and saw that there were some texts and thought it'd be easier to just go in person and take a look at what they had. All right. So, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing. Okay. All right. Yay. And I'm going to allow you to share. Okay. Let's see. Where do I do that? Oh, share screen. Mm -hmm. And you go up on the library. Yeah. And, you know, we may not find the answer to all your all your dreams and problems here. We may just find an article that deals with your subject. Okay. All right. But this is what people would need to do in order. I want to show people what they need to do in order to be actually doing this exercise. Okay. So you go up on ECSU's website. Hang on a second. I've got something. I had to go in my settings. So Zoom will not be able to record the contents of your screen until it is quit. Do I have to sign back out and sign back in or something? See, I'm recording. Yeah. I'm not Don't sure. worry. I just, I hit, oh, are I you trying share. to record? Are you trying to No, record? I just hit share screen and it popped up a security thing I had to go to, I think just for my computer. Mm -hmm. And I had checked Zoom and then it says it will not be able to record the contents of your screen until it has quit. You can choose to quit now or do it on your own later. So later and see. I don't know if it will. And if it doesn't let you share screen, here's what we'll do. We'll we'll have you go in by having telling me what to do. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're yeah, sharing. I mm -hmm. Am I? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that was about. Okay. You went to the library. Mm-hmm. Where, <laughs> right? Where are we at somewhere? Yeah, inside ECSU. Go up, up on the blue field there. That's the easiest. Okay. Or just search the library, but anyway. Oh, I always found it under something. Up to uh, inside. Right. Yeah, there you go. Uh, inside ECSU? Yes, yes. Mm hmm. And down there, some boy, everything flies out. It's the site design is a little strange. Um, for students, could go all the way down there, look around for the library. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> Spill it. Search. So, search Try like that. A... Saul Bass. Okay. First thing that comes up. Boy, Saul Bass's sci-fi fiction. So um, this is an article about, about, this is an article from the moving image. Um, is there, I see over here, journal articles. Yeah, you could, you could, you could isolate so you don't get text. Go ahead and click on that. Right. And there, see, it's still there. So sci-fi sci vision lost and regained gets published a couple of times, actually. Um, no, that's the same thing. That's um, volume 14, issue two. And you can get the full text online. Now, go, go down, go down one. Go down. Um, Saul, can you make me a title? Interview with Saul Bass. So you can, man, so now we just found stuff, didn't we? Mm-hmm. I mean, we actually found stuff that you probably could end up using in your paper. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. yeah, All right, good. Um, and look, you got full text online. This is easy. Okay. Anatomy of film design. Saul Bass, anatomy of film design. Uh, again, with moving image. A lot of journal of film stuff here. Yeah, that's probably not so helpful for me. Oh, well, you know, wait a minute now. Hold on. <laughs> Your subject of minimalism in design, mm -hmm. believe me, his his title sequences are uh, virtuoso performances of that kind of thing. Okay. Okay. Wait, you, you got to think about this. Um, you, if someone puts two squares in a certain relationship on a page, people imagine the distance between them and, and immediately make the connection of movement. And so all he did was in the film title sequence, he just took these abstract things and made them move. And it, people, people really bought into it. <laughs> so look, 
there's actually two, you know, you got titles, titles. So, you know, you then you're going to have to, hey, wait, let's go back up. Let's make it harder. Okay. <laughs> um, minimalism and graphic design. Go put, put that in the search. I say harder. I know you, you don't necessarily want to talk about film, but, but, ooh. Wow. Well, it's interesting. This first one, I saw an image that online in my searching that was related, kind of related to that. It was a, the first picture was of a, like no parking signs in uh, Los Angeles. And it was just a pole with just like probably five different, no parking at this time, all these different parking restrictions. And it's just a mess of stuff. And then this girl had come up with a solution that was simplified, streamlined, you know, beautiful, easily you look at it by date and time and you could easily tell whether or not you could park there or not. It was a great, a great example of how to. So you it. saw an image, right? Yes, it was just an image. It was just on a, you know, not really a, a I mean, it was a, obviously well, a live one that it had a photo, but it wasn't like a, you know, peer reviewed <laughs> academic source or anything like that. No, it no, it was just visual. an image. Well, oh. wait, great. Hold on. Great visual. Um, was, were they, were, were these signs actually used? Yes, it said that they were um, tested in LA um, for a time. I don't know if they kept them or not, but it was it was put into practice and tested. If that piqued your interest and you just saw, you know, you this is like, all right, so you're at, you were out in the clear, you were out in the wild and you found <laughs> stuff out there foraging and look, picking berries, right? <laughs> I could probably now, find more about it. Wait, wait, just... wait. Now what you want to find out is anybody cultivated that stuff and brought it into the barn? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Or better yet, have they produced it and got it, got it to the grocery store? So here's the question. Could you formulate a search in that little search um, panel up there where we just did minimalism and graphic design and um, search uh, parking, no parking signs in Los Angeles redesign? Mm -hmm. You see how I phrase that? I don't know if that's going to be good or not. Backspace over that and put that in there. Let's see what we get. All right, so no parking. Redesign. You want to put Los Angeles? Los Angeles, yeah. Because that's specific to that area. Yeah, it might no not be being parking. used. No parking. So parking. City council members are asking. Mm -hmm. Simplify and stream. We found a journal article. All right. Los okay. Angeles Business Journal. Here, click on it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, and we'll probably get the abstract, right? <laughs> there it is. Oh, you're off. You got all right. We're not going to get it right unless you can hurry and do that. It's good for you, man. You okay? City memos are asking. Da, 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 da. Nine twenty, technically, although this may get wrapped up sooner. Let me see. Go down, scroll down a little bit. Let's see what they say. It says no data available. It, um, this is all I have oh. right here. Uh, wait, what was, the, what was the specific date of the article that you were looking for? I don't know. This is, this is the most recent here. Yeah. I know, but that might, you need to get the date of the article. The date, oh, was 2014. So they don't go back that far here. Oh, okay. Wow. Listen, man, go back, go back to the search to, to the search. And here's here's what we've done. We've opened up the can of worms. You're into your stuff. And actually, you are doing research for your paper here. And you're gonna mm -hmm. find an article that you want to abstract. Okay. I think I think my situation is deteriorating. Here. <laughs> I have kids. I'm used to kid noises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was that one, right? From 2014. Right. So when you clicked on full text online, it just, it says it's there, but it's not there. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Is there anything else down below this? 
somewhere else. Nope. Well, well, Los Angeles is no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. You can see how you can get off the subject. Boy, oh boy. But if we could track that one down, that, that would probably be our yeah, asking like to simplify and streamline just the idea that, that it was, um, this is in the business journal. Uh, in other words, it's, it's talking about the need. It's not talking about the design process. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, also, if you could identify who the person was that did that, there was a name of the of the woman that mm -hmm. did it, yeah. And then you just search the name in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is how you do research. This is how you get it started. Yeah. And that's my happy introduction to this exercise. That listen, you guys that are not watching are not here. You guys that are not here, listen. This must be done <laughs> for Monday uh, at eleven. This coming Monday at eleven fifty nine p.m. because we're going to be doing an exercise with it on Tuesday. <laughs> so happy hunting. Email me if you need help. Many of you need help because many of you are not responding to discussion board forums. See that crying and screaming down there? That is, that's what you should be doing right now. You should be crying and screaming because you haven't posted to discussion board forums. And with that, we're gonna make this, we're gonna stop this recording. <laughs> or stop this session. <laughs> All right. Do you guys have any questions for me before you go? Um, I don't think I have any right now, but thanks for the help. Appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you guys anytime, but next week for sure. All right. All right. Bye bye. Hey, wait, bye. Yes, Miss Britt. Did you figure out if I can come to the lab tomorrow? Not yet. All right. Well, email me and let me know. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> Okay. Okay. We'll see you later. All right. Bye-bye.